This video explains how to assign functions to reconfigurable controls on your Command Pro joystick and how to manage these settings. Different operators sometimes wish to have controls set for their personal liking. Likewise, controls sometimes require different settings so that different implements can be operated efficiently. In this video, we will show you how to make and save these settings in a profile for each operator or implement. Begin by opening Control Setup page by touching the Setup button on the navigation bar. On the left part of the screen, you can see functions that you can reconfigure. Here we have Command Pro Joystick, Hydraulic Joystick, SCV Paddle Pots, and iTech buttons. With Command Pro, there are several different functions that you can configure. When connected to a grain cart that requires PTO to be switched off quickly, you can configure the PTO off function to a switch located on the Command Pro joystick. First select the switch you wish to assign this function, then touch Select Source. Choose Rear PTO from List. Rear PTO can now be turned off using Switch 12 after we store and activate our new custom settings. You can also configure rocker buttons A and B on the front side of the joystick to control SCVs. While Extend only offers time detail, you can choose to have timed or float on retract details. Rocker buttons C and D on the top side can also be assigned functions. You can then store your settings so that they can be recalled later. To store, touch the Save Load button. Then, Save Current Settings. Select Create New Configuration. Touch OK. A pop-up screen asks you which settings you wish to save under this profile. In addition to Command Pro Settings, changes made to settings on other pages can be saved. For example, set speeds on transmission page or flow settings on SCV page. However, only pages or controls selected here with a check are saved. Touch Save. You are then prompted to enter a configuration name. Touch OK to save your new configuration. Touch OK to acknowledge. To make your controls work, touch the Activate Custom button on the lower left corner. The green LED at each control indicates that these controls are now ready to use. If LEDs are not green after selecting Activate Custom, check that the controls are not locked out with the lock button on the command arm. By the way, this lock button can be used to lock functions in order to prevent inadvertent actuations during transport. Now, after connecting to a planner, we can upload a profile for this planner, which was saved earlier. Here is how our planner profile is loaded. After starting the tracker, you will see this screen. Simply touch the Save Load function. Select the profile you want to load from this list. Touch OK. Select settings you wish to load and then touch OK. Touch OK. To activate this new loaded profile, touch Activate Custom button on the lower left. If a different operator uses Tracker, or if it's connected to a different implement, controls can easily be returned back to the factory default settings. Once key is cycled on, you are again notified of the custom settings by the Control Setup page opening. To return the Tracker to the factory default settings, 
simply touch the Defaults button. Once Control Defaults page opens, touch Restore. Factory default settings are now restored to the settings indicated on the window sticker. 